Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a back stretching routine. I don't stretch my back all that often, so I thought I would film it for you. I actually have a really lovely day today. I'm teaching this morning, then I need to do some training, then I'll be stretching, and then I'm gonna come home and do some work. Um, but now it's about seven in the morning. It's uh, just starting to get light. And <gasps> where's my little Bella? We need to go. Where is she? <gasps> do you go for a walk? <gasps> oh my goodness. I'm going for a walk for about an hour, get my heart pumping, get nice and warm and wake me up a little bit. I know I say every time, but I really love coming for a walk first thing in the morning. It's so peaceful. It's literally my favourite thing of the day. While I'm walking, I thought I'd talk through a few things you can do to help your flexibility aside from the actual stretches, which I'll show you later. Because there's quite a lot of tips I can give you to you really utilise your time while you're stretching and get the most out of it. First one, which is my personal favourite, is try to include stretching in your workout. So I only actually sit down and stretch very rarely, maybe two or three times a week, if that. And the reason for that is I train and teach Huben Silks, I don't know, say, six hours a day, five days a week. So I'm constantly stretching while I'm up in the air as well. And I do tend to gravitate to more bendy moves, which also helps. But yeah, if you try and stretch while you're working out, you're still doing the same stretching. You're just working out your muscles and learning new things and all the rest of it as well. And just try to make sure you're equal when you're doing your leg stretch. Second one is try to stretch little and often. So it's so much better to stretch two, three, four times a week for 20 minutes at a time, obviously make sure you're warm, than to do once a week or once every other week, a whole hour or two hours. It will just give your body time to adjust to it and build up to the stretches gradually. Um, and you'll have recovery time in between. Don't stretch every single day if you're still sore. Third one is when you are stretching, do different types of stretches. There's loads of different types of stretches. There's dynamic, passive, PNF, etc. I'll do a whole other video on this. If you want me to, just let me know. Um, and they all work your muscles and stretch you in very different ways. So by doing a wide range of stretches while you're stretching or over the period of a week or a month, you'll be increasing your overall range of flexibility and your strength as well, which will reduce the risk of injury. And the last one is while YouTube videos and books um, are really good for getting the basics down and following just a general stretching routine once you know how your body feels and how it's moving. The best thing you can do if you really seriously want to get flexible or to really increase your flexibility is to get a good coach. They will be able to give you pointers. It's hard to know what your body is doing in comparison to what it's meant to be doing. So filming yourself is also a really good thing so you can see how your body's actually moving. But yeah, getting a really good coach, you'll progress so much quicker. Obviously, I know it's quite expensive and not everyone has access to it. So it's only if you can and if you want to, you know, take it to the next level. But yeah, now I'm going to finish my walk and then go home, have some breakfast and then go to work. It's many hours later and I've just finished teaching. So now I'm going to train. I think I'm going to train on hoop today. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do to be honest. I'm just going to get in there and flow and see what comes to me, which is my favourite kind of training. really well but I did somehow manage to get a hip hold right on my hip bone which I managed to smile through it but 
I was a little bit pinchy. If you've ever done that, you'll know exactly what I mean. Um, and now I'm going to do my back stretching routine as I've already been essentially working out for about five hours. I'm very, very warm, so I'm not gonna do a warm up. I'm just gonna get straight into it. I have written down um, what I'm going to do. I find that sometimes I just flow and go with how my body feels. Um, which I really enjoy doing, but I thought as I'm filming it and I want to film a kind of all over backstretch routine, I don't want to just do that because I would probably forget something. So I have written it down, or I sometimes use one of the flexibility routines from my academy, which I'll link below if you're interested. There's a few for some different levels. I will time lapse this so you're not having to watch me for ages, but I will write down what I'm doing. So if you do want to follow along at home, just take a screenshot and you can follow what I'm doing. Let's do it. I don't know about you, I feel incredibly stretched right now. That felt so good. I forgot to say earlier, anything that is more dynamic, like the cat cow, etc., I tend to hold each pose for between five and 10 seconds and just move really, really slowly. You let your body um, completely just flow with it. Any sharp, um, quick jarring movements is definitely not good for stretching. So just keep it nice and slow. And all the other stretches, I hold them for about 30 seconds. I did repeat the um, upper back stretch where my arms against the wall twice. I was planning to only do it once, but my upper back is really tight compared to my lower back, so I did that twice. And then just have a forward fold or a child pose or something in there intermittently whenever you need just to release the tension in your back. But now I, oh, I'm actually really, really hungry. I've been here hours, so I'm gonna go and have some food. For lunch, I'm gonna make myself a wrap. I've been really enjoying these new beetroot wraps at the moment they're a lot higher in fiber than um normal wraps and they're actually really really nice i had one yesterday and i'm going to cook some tofu with soy sauce and garlic granules mash up an avocado to spread on the wrap and add some spinach in there this smells so good and it's so healthy and good for you so i'm really excited about tacking into that um, and I think I'm going to leave the video here because all I'm doing this afternoon is editing. So thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe and I will see you all again soon.